I wouldn't describe myself as an expert, um, but having spent a few years there, um, I, I'd just like to share a few insights um, and focus, as you say, on the opportunities. Nancy Dupre mentioned uh, that the Afghans don't know their own history. Um, I think that's true, except that a lot of them are aware of certain key events in their own history, particularly the more educated, and they're aware of events in history not because they want to understand exactly why they happened, but they're aware of them because they're a warning about how not to behave if you don't want to lose the trust of the Afghan people. One of those events, of course, is the uh, Anglo-Afghan War of 1939 to 42, where the, the, uh, the king was, uh, in effect, put in place by the British. Another event is the, um, in the 1920s, when King Amanullah Khan, uh, inspired by uh, Turkish uh, uh, Ataturkist reform, allowed his wife to be uh, photographed at a cocktail party, not just unveiled, but with bare shoulders, which caused a huge uh, outcry and resistance in Afghanistan, which led to his deposition. They're aware of history as a warning, uh, not as a, uh, issues to be uh, examined and, and, and argued over and so on. That's my first point. And quite often, Afghan politicians and their behavior can only be really understood in certain circumstances, particularly present Karzai, as trying to avoid the accusation that he's behaving like some of his failed predecessors. My second point is that I was struck by um, what I would call the um, concrete nature of Afghan thinking. Uh, you talked about uh, opportunities. I found quite often they don't understand a lot of what we're talking about because we don't talk in concrete terms. I'll give you one small example. I was in a car with a friend of mine who had uh, been a lecturer, an Afghan friend who'd uh, been a lecturer at uh, Oxford University, returned uh, after 9-11 to help rebuild his country and was an advisor in the higher education ministry. I was in a car going uh, to his home for dinner, and there was a driver there uh, who was driving us to his place. The driver could speak some basic English. We went past this big, huge brick building, uh, which is different from anything I'd seen elsewhere in Kabul. So I said, well, um, what's, what's that? Uh, he said, it's a factory. I said, oh, who built it? Thinking you'd refer to some previous leader. He said, the Russians. It's very good. It makes bread. It feeds our army. And then he said, and you foreigners, uh, what are you doing here? And I said, we're building capacity to help you govern yourselves. And he said, well, you can't eat capacity. <laughs> and it just struck me that we're often at different levels. So there would be opportunities, and I'm coming to them now, uh, but there's too often complete misunderstanding in terms of the language we use because we've learned to talk about everything we do in abstract terms, whereas they, because of their circumstances, have to deal with the concrete, the now, quite often about survival. My third point, though, is much more positive. Just because they don't understand a lot of what we're saying doesn't mean that we're, we're not leaving some significant legacy. And that significant legacy is not necessarily uh, what we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to build, uh, who we've trained and so on. I think the legacy has come, as you said, Marriott, um, from the extensive uh, contacts and, and uh, sustained contacts over the past decade or so between internationals of different kinds, not just NATO, uh, you know, not just institutions like EU and others, but in terms of NGOs uh, and in terms of an opening to the world, which has had, I think, a profound effect on youth thinking. The urban youth of, of Afghanistan are very open to the outside world. And so if we have left a, a legacy, it's basically a legacy of interchange 
and uh, raising the curiosity of the Afghans into what uh, we think and how we think, not because they want to copy us, but because they see we do things in our way, uh, which they would like to learn more of.